money can do good and money can do bad. Isn't that a spiritual concept? Yeah, I, I would I would agree. I think, and the Bible also says you can't serve God and mammon, and, right? Mm-hmm. And and I think the interpretation or the mis what's misunderstood when people like us talk about money that love Jesus is that oh they're all about the money they want the money they're greedy they want this and want that and the bible says that you can't serve god and mammon we serve god we serve jesus but we have money as a tool mm-hmm. right to affect what's around us is is that is that what we're trying is that what you're trying to really say in your book well whether we want to admit it or not everybody works for Money, right? Everybody, everybody leaves their family for money. Everybody uh, buys a house that they don't really live in because they go to work and are at work longer than they're at their home. But because of money, right? So the only way you can impact generations to come is through money because we live on this realm of economic system that is driven by currency. So. I think that when people hear you and I talk, for people who do not have that concept, sounds like we're bragging. Yeah. Right. But this is not, this is not greed, or this is not us showing off. This is literally being under a covering and being under a system that glorifies the one who has given it to you. For impact, God is a God of multiplication. There's more verses in the Bible about finances than there is about salvation, faith, and healing combined. Amen. So God is so aware of economic systems because we're on this realm, on earth as it is in heaven, right? If there's no lack in heaven, why do we have a lack here? The only reason why we do that is because we don't have the concept of kingdom economics. Do you think that what we are tapping into, which is being a citizen of the kingdom of God Mm -hmm. has potential spiritual consequences. Like it's been hidden so long, Mm -hmm. but you know, hidden from people who are supposed to reign in it Mm -hmm. where the spiritual darkness reigns in money. Do you think there's the, do you think there's a, there's a warfare When it comes to money. A hundred percent. So in the book of Matthew says that whoever gets a revelation of the kingdom of heaven, the evil one, not not demons, not spirits, the evil one will come to steal it back from you. If if you get the concept of kingdom and you get the revelation of kingdom, uh, the devil loses all control over you. So that's why he fights kingdom and the only thing that Jesus ever talked about to break circling back the only reason why the church does not embrace citizenship is because of the warfare that comes Mm. so it's very easy to live on shallow water but when God calls you deeper the warfare and the fight and the faith and the courage and strength that it requires for you to tap into those uncharted waters, it's not for the faint of heart. So I think that the church has been so conditioned to just kind of coast and vibe and be spoon fed that the ones who cross over and have the courage to go into deeper waters and discover, seek, actually Seek means to chase after, Mm -hmm. to be diligent in seeking who he is in your life and who you are on this realm, right? So again, going back to the scripture, the enemy, the devil himself will come and try to take it from you by discouraging you. 